Greetings, everyone. P. Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea Tranquility. It's Wednesday. It's new release day here on the channel. You know what that means. New releases, of course. <laughs> so today we're going to take, uh, here's a little uh, something from the vault, right? So I guess this it's sort of a reissue, but not. The band is Jade Warrior. The release is entitled Eclipse and Fifth Element, the 1973 Recordings. For those of you progressive rock fans, you're probably well aware who Jade Warrior is or are is. I think they're still kind of doing stuff, sort of, or at least they were for a while. Maybe not anymore. They were up into the 2000s, but it's been quite a while since we've heard everything from them. Uh, and this is from Esoteric Recordings. It's a two-disc set. Let's take a look at this. So, and we open up there. There's the guys in the band. Two discs, and let me get out the booklet, which tells you basically the whole story behind these two albums here. There's, there's quite a lot of back history here. So here you have the lineup. I'll read all that to you. The second, more pictures of the band, then a nice long kind of essay detailing the origins of the band as well as all the interesting things that were happening right around the time in 1973 which led to these two albums not being released so uh, we have on the Eclipse album which is disc one John Field flutes and percussion Glenn Havard on or Havard Havard on bass and vocals Tony Duhigg on guitars Alan Price on drums and Tom Newman rhythm guitar on one track Recorded at Nova Studios, London in 1973. Then on uh, CD2, you get the Fifth Element album. John Field, again, flutes and percussion. Tony Duhigg, electric and acoustic guitars. Glenn Havard, bass and vocals. David Duhigg, also on electric guitar. And Alan Price on drums. Recorded at Nova Studios, London in 1973. So basically, uh, what you have here is a band that with their first couple of albums, and those were Jade Warrior from 1971, released the album is called released on 19 also in 1971 and last autumn's dream on 19 1972 all three of those albums were on vertigo records and the band were touring quite a bit not those albums aren't weren't all that successful kind of a weird mix of kind of uh, folky flute driven experimental rock and prog and as well as some hard rock you have the uh, the Doohig brothers were big you know riffy guitar players and whatnot so it's kind of like this weird mix of sounds uh but like i said the albums weren't all that successful and after like uh, uh you know there were a lot, all, sorts, all sorts of things going on inside the band that were uh, the, f the fractions were already starting to happen and the band was kind of getting torn in two different ways so the record label vertigo had decided that you know what we're going to drop you after they had already gone into the studio and recorded enough for two albums worth of material so those albums these two albums in particular never got released until now officially uh, you, you've we've seen bits and pieces of them come out uh, on certain reissues and stuff like that and compilations but uh, never officially both albums released in their entirety till now and shortly thereafter the band were picked up by island records after they basically were no more and then you had uh, uh john and tony basically as the band okay and, and they became a much different band they became pretty much all instrumental and very experimental new agey progressive rock type of mix with lots of flute lots of different uh, ethnic instruments and percussion and whatnot occasional bits of electric guitar lots of acoustic guitar and you know the albums floating world waves and kites really really remarkable albums that are very really well beloved uh, to this day but i you know I, for me i find the early part of the jade warrior catalog actually pretty exciting and very unique so here we have on these two albums uh, a weird mix of stuff right again you got some instrumental tracks you have some uh, vocal pieces uh, CD1's got uh, English Morning, which is kind of like a poppy, kind of folky track. Actually, really good, nice melody to it. Then you got uh, Sangha, Too Many Heroes. Again, mixing stuff, flute, some guitars, lots of cool percussion and drums and things like that. Then you have Soldier Song, which is like this Black Sabbath-y heavy metal rock song. 
not heavy metal, but heavy rock. Um, and you get a few of those throughout these two CDs, which is really weird because that's kind of this yin and yang that was going on within the band. Uh, you get Mwenga Sketch, another really cool tune, Holy Rollers, another rocker, and then House of Dreams. Again, weird mix of styles, but it's a very, very listenable album overall, and you get lots of variety. Then over on Fifth Element, you get uh, On the Mountain of Fruit, which is a song that was later reworked on one of their later albums, okay, a little bit different. You get uh, Disco Technique, another big heavy rocker. Uh, hey Rainy Day is another one. We Are the One, 24-hour movie, another heavy rock song. Annie, Yam Jam, that's kind of jammy, kind of rocking, and, and Have You Ever. Lovely flutes for, uh, throughout these albums for those of you who like flute, but like a lot of percussion too. Great guitar work, whether it's acoustic or electric. Uh, the vocals are actually really well done. So even though these two albums represent a band in serious disarray, uh, they're actually really good, really, really enjoyable. And if you've liked what you've heard from Jade Warrior, whether it's the first three albums or those next three Island records or anything they released thereafter, you know, most people kind of center on those uh, first six studio albums, even though they all are very different from each other. I think this fits right in the middle of them very, very well, these two albums here. So uh, Esoteric Recordings, you get this. Uh, I got this from Ken Golden at lasercd.com, Laser's Edge, but uh, you can pretty much get these any this anywhere. Cool cover art, I think, too. So Eclipse and Fifth Element, the 1973 recordings from Jade Warrior. Check it out if you like this sort of thing. If you're at all interested in the band, I think uh, you'll want to have these for sure. Two discs uh, each album, I think is roughly 35 or so minutes long, not quite 40 minutes, somewhere in between 35 and 40. So you get well over an hour's worth of music and uh, all sorts of good stuff here. So check it out. This is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, all together, all the damn time. I'm going to give this a very, very solid 3.5 out of 5 star. And uh, we'll see you here hopefully shortly with more new album releases. Like I said, we got a l all of a sudden, once again, I got a stack of stuff to get to. Uh, I, I got to carve out some time to uh, check out, uh, watch, and listen to the Transatlantic Live thing. That's uh, That probably is going to be another week or two at least. Uh, I've got uh, but ones that are happening hopefully real soon. The new Camelot, the new Cold Stairs. New Night Demon and New Redemption. Those are like on tap for, you may get one, one of those uh, today, but the rest will probably be for next week. So uh, lots, of, lots of cool stuff that, that I've got that I'm just waiting to review. So uh, stay tuned for that and more here on the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, down there, yep, down there, we've got the uh, links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations as well as our merch page where we have all sorts of cool See You Tranquilly stuff, lots of different t-shirts, hats, hoodies, um, caps, stickers, coffee mugs, all that sort of thing. So go out and get yourself something good to help spread the word of SOT, and I thank you in advance. Till later, I am Pete Pardo. See you soon with more stuff. Bye-bye.